So here's my Instagram profile. Uh, before I go into the strategies, I'm going to just talk about how to set up your bio, do's and don'ts, et cetera. Um, I know I, I pulled up the MGIC uh, PMI pricing. I know some of you guys are probably looking at, at that on a daily basis like me, but this is, this is what I really wanted to show you. Okay, so a few quick things about Instagram. And by the way, my strategies are completely the same Instagram and Facebook. Obviously, there's, it's a different platform, so there's little different tweaks, but I post the same stuff that I do on Instagram that I do on Facebook. It's the same thing. And both are incredibly incredibly valuable. I'm not, I used to be very pro Instagram. I used to be, you know, the type that's, you know, I, uh, you know, Facebook is dead. I do not believe so anymore. I think they're both very, very good platforms. So some do's and don'ts. First off, uh, you want, you want to set up your bio correctly, very quickly. You want to put your location, what you do, right? Loan officer right then and there. Um, your, your mission statement. So your Nike, just do it. And then you could have a link tree with, you know, your, your reviews and stuff like that. Um, but that, that's the very basic, some do's and don'ts. So if you see, if you see something, um, and, and let me know in the comments, what's one thing you notice about my profile if I'm scrolling through it right now? It's all about me. That's what a personal brand is all about. Guys, I don't post three and a half percent down FHA loans are available. I do not post anything like that. I post about me. That's what, that's what people are, are, are building relationship with you, not, not the programs, right? So uh, some do's and don'ts or don'ts would be, you know, don't post the, the product highlight. Um, do post the stuff about you, whether it's a, a stupid little picture with, with no caption, right? Or something like this where I'm, I'm putting together now. Um, so I, I'm running low on time. So I just want to get into the, the strategies for you guys. I can talk about the profile and how to build that successfully and all that stuff. So some actual strategies that you can do. Um, first off, th this is the first thing you should do. Whatever marketplace you're in, do this. If I do Long Island real estate, right? This is straight from Gary V's handbook, guys. Something that you guys should do here. I don't think I can do it on the computer. Something that you should do right away is start following influencers outside of the mortgage industry and just copy what they do and just throw the mortgages in there. But basically what you want to do, I can't do it on the computer for some reason. Search your, you, you can not only search people's usernames, but you can also search hashtags. You want to follow your market hashtag, meaning hashtag Long Island real estate. I follow that hashtag. I like and engage on every post in there. All of my posts, I use that hashtag. So I become, I start to become trending in that hashtag. Um, like, comment, DM. Now, any, this is very, very key. Any realtors coming into your space, I, I always say if they, if they come into my space, they're getting a DM, Right. Whether that be they like my picture, they comment on my picture, they friend or follow me, I immediately send that person a message. Try to take the online relationship offline. You don't want to have a bunch of followers and no referral partners, right? Try to take the online relationship offline. So anytime, whether it be a loan officer or a real estate agent interacts with any of my posts in any way, I immediately DM them and, and try to pull that relationship offline, whether it be schedule a call or an in-person meeting. Now, real quick, um, reach out to the top influencers in your market. 